Hi everybody! I hope you've enjoyed my interleaved practice tips that have taken up most of this week. Interleaved practicing is such a powerful way of practicing, so I hope you've tried them and I hope you find them beneficial for you. Today's practice tip is also along the lines of interleaved practicing, and this one is something I call interleaved clicking up. Some of you who have followed me for a while may have heard of this because um, I have some YouTube videos on it already. This is a way of making music faster, of clicking it up, that's really different from the normal way of clicking up, and it works so well it feels like magic. I made it up out of frustration about eight-ish years ago now, and I use it for everything. It just works so unbelievably well. It's a little bit time-consuming to describe how to do this method and how it works longer than you want to watch in a short little video on Instagram, especially if you're watching this on Instagram. So I'm gonna put a link to the YouTube video that I've already made where I describe how to do interleaf clicking up, and also a video where I demonstrate doing interleaf clicking up that you can play along with, because there's music on the screen and it's perpetual motion from Suzuki Book One, so it's really easy. So hopefully it's, it's easy enough that everybody can play along. Um, I will also put a graphic in here that explains it in words and has like a pictorial um, graphic that shows how you do interleaf clicking up. So that's my tip for you for today. If you've heard me talk about it before but you've never tried it, today is the day to try it. I'm also going to put a video in of me doing interleaved clicking up with something I'm actually working on, the second moment of the Walton Concerto, to show what this looks like for real for me because the demonstration video is me doing perpetual motion, which I'm not practicing. So interleaved clicking up is your practice tip for today. I really hope you try it. Okay, like I said in the last video, interleaved clicking up it feels like magic. Um, it's so long to explain, it's way too long to explain for one of these videos, especially because I already have an explanation on YouTube, so definitely go watch that. Um, the, the demonstration on YouTube I think is also helpful, but I'm using Perpetual Motion from Suzuki Book One, so people could play along. I wanted to pick something easy, so I thought it would be helpful to make a video of me like actually doing this with something that I'm working on. So I said in some previous videos I started learning the second movement of Walton Concerto again, so I'm gonna do this um, with a short passage in Walton. I'm not going to do the whole passage because, again, the video would be too long, but um, I'll show how I do it. So my goal tempo for this is 120. So I'm going to start at 60. And so the first step is very easy. It's just um, the, first, the first beat, clicking it up by five. So this is 60. Ooh, that was out of tune. was not in the right place. This part's really boring, so I'm going to speed up the video here so you don't have to watch through this in real time. So that was the first beat clicked up by fives. Now I go back to 60 and I'm going to do the first two beats at 60. My strings are so dead. The D string does not sound good. Okay, now I'm going to do the second beat um, at 65. That's an up O. Tune. Okay, so I've discovered it's out of tune. So what I do in that case, I do a few repetitions to make sure I know where my fingers go. I'll take a little break. Okay, that's better. So now it's 65 again. Then 70 both beats. And 75, just the new beat.
So now we go back to 60 and we do the first three beats at 60. Okay, now just the third beat at 65, which is the same as the first beat. Now the second and third beats at 70. Now just the new beat at 75. And all three at 80. Okay. So I would keep going in this way until I got to um, the end of the passage. So hopefully between my explanation video that's already on YouTube, the demonstration that's already on YouTube, and this little demonstration right now, and the graphic, you understand how to do it. I know it sounds complicated, it isn't actually once you do it and you get used to it, and it works so exceptionally well, you have to try it.